save us. We look for a man, flesh, to save us. The scriptures told you in Deuteronomy that no man will save us according to the scriptures. Who voted for Barack Obama? Who can be honest about that? Who voted for Barack? Sis, did you vote for Barack? You did? Do you love the Most High God? Do you love God? Do you love the Most High God? Do you love God? Do you love God? What's wrong with our people? We're lost in the sauce. Out here voting for, for Barack Obama, but claim they love God. Give me Romans 1 and 26, huh? Romans 1 and 26, real quick. Romans, we claim we know the Most High, but we don't. That's right. Romans chapter 1, verse 26. Read. For this cause God gave them trouble unto vile affection. So for this cause the Most High gave these wicked Israelites up to vile affections. Vile, disgusting affections. Read. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. For even their women did change the natural use which was against nature. Meaning by being homosexual. That's right. Women loving women. That's right. Sleeping with women. Read on. And like, and likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the women. Okay, stop right there. So it said the scriptures, in the scriptures, the book says that even the men did leave. We got to get off. I'm sorry. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the women. Okay, so it says even the men left the natural use of the woman. Brother, can you tell me what that is? Can anybody answer that question? Because it's a big thing going on in Atlanta today. It's strawberry shortcake field. That's men right. sleeping with men. That's right. Women that's right. sleeping with women. But the pastors don't tell you that's right. Or that that's wrong. Excuse me. Come as you are, they say. Read that again. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burning in their lust, one towards another. Burning in their wicked lust, one for another. That's right. The scriptures didn't say there was Adam and Adam and Eve and Eve. That's Adam right. Man and woman. Adam and Steve. That's right. Woman and man. Now, the question that I ask is, who loves the most high? Who loves God? Can I get a show of hands? Obviously, who voted for Barack Obama? Can I get a show of hands? Okay, so you guys voted for somebody that voted for gay rights. But y'all love God. That makes no damn sense whatsoever. But you guys claim you love the most high. First John. You guys claim you love the most high. That's not even keeping you on keeping the commandments. You guys are fist hoppers. Lip service. That's right. That's all y'all do. First John chapter 3, verse 4. Read. Whosoever committed sin transgress also the law. So whoever commits sin transgresses the law. Now you guys think about it. Because a lot of these Christian churches are telling you, oh, we say by grace. All we have to do on our deathbed is just ask the Most High to forgive us in Jesus Christ's name. That is not in the Bible. That's right. The Most High told you we still have to keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. Thus saith the Lord. These aren't my words. These are coming out the scriptures. But your pastors will never tell you that. Read that again. Whosoever committed sin transgress also the law. So who, whosoever committed sin. Uh, committed sin also transgressed the law. So if the, if the laws have been done away with, why do you guys still ask for forgiveness of sins? That's right. Churches, that don't make no sense. What's the purpose of getting baptized, Christian churches? If the law was done away with, y'all wouldn't have to say, oh, Lord, forgive me. The law's done away with. Makes no sense. It makes no sense. 1 John chapter 5 verse 3 Read. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments Right there, read that again, huh? 1 John chapter 5 verse 3 
For this is the love of God. For this is the love of God. That what? We keep his commandments. That what? We keep his commandments. Now that's the love of the Most High. That's right. Because everything that's coming out of, of the majority of Christians' mouth is all damn lip service. Don't mean a damn thing. They talking it, but they walking it. That's right. The scriptures told you to be a hearer and a doer, not just a hearer. That's, That's right. the problem with our people nowadays. We are kings and queens. The scriptures tell about our whole captivity. Stop just going to church and just nodding and not reading for yourselves. These pastors are not telling it right. Read that again. First John 5 and 3. Read on. For this is the love of God. For this is the love of God that what? We keep his commandments. That we what? We keep his commandments. No buying and selling on the Sabbath day. The Sabbath day is today. Now, we're going to have a lot of us going to Sunday church. But if that's your Sabbath, why are you guys still buying after church? Why are you guys still at our, what is that, our hometown buffet? Uh, I hop and things like that after church. Why are you guys still eating pork, seething and cooking, buying after church? But the pastors ain't gonna tell y'all that. They all are off a 501c3 grant. That's right. They make money. Woo! Put some money. Put some anointing on this money. You put something up here. You put. Woo! Prosper. Prosper, I said. Exempt. That's right. You guys are nothing but dollar signs. These pastors are greedy for filthy liquor. That's right. That's filthy right. money. You don't see no damn buckets up here with money in it. We ain't asking for nothing. Give me Isaiah 58 and 1, all right? We're just here to teach the people. We're supposed to bring this word out. This was the covenant that we made with the Most High when Moses brought the laws down. Read Isaiah 58. Come on. One. Cry aloud! Cry aloud! Spare not! Spare nobody's feelings! We don't give a hot damn how you feel! That's lift, right! Lift up God's voice like a trumpet! Lift up our voice like a trumpet! So if you brothers and sisters hear me yelling, it's because that's what the scriptures said! That's I'm right! I'm supposed to lift up my voice like a trumpet! Read! And show my people! And show who? My people! Show my people! Because there was only one group of people that the Most High loved! You so-called African Americans! You guys aren't African. You guys make up the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. Jacob's kids. Leah's son. That's right. Read. Show my people their treasure. Show my people so-called Negroes, Africans, Native Americans, Panamanians. And the house of Jacob. And the house of Jacob, the 12 tribes. Read. Their sins. Their sins. We're not supposed to be out here doing what we're doing. That's why we are in this captivity. That's right. Give me that in uh, 1 Corinthians 10 and 1. We're lost. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 1. Read. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignored. How that all our fathers, how that all our fathers, this is talking about our forefathers before when the most high cities. Prophets, Moses, Ezekiel, read on. Were under the cloud and all passed through the sea. They were under the cloud during the Exodus. When the Moses brought the well, the Most High used Moses to bring the 12 tribes of Israel out of Egypt. Read. Stop right there. They were all baptized unto Moses. How were they baptized? By the word. That's right. By the law. Not a damn dipping in some water. That's right. Go in a prostitute, come out a prostitute. That's right. Ain't nothing changing. That was symbolic. Read that again. And we're all baptized unto Moses in the cloud or in, in the sea. Uh -huh. So stop right there. This TV, like I said, your pastors. TV, TV snakes. Preflo dollar. Eddie.
he touch a young kid long? doing get a vision of where we're going that we'll never if we don't get a vision of it we'll never get there touch your neighbor say get a vision without a vision people have, now, please because because I, I honestly I got I'm talking a whole lot I got one thing to say so what I need what I Manifest. <laughs> Give me baby girl. Somebody ought to shine. Signs, wonders, and miracles. <laughs> All these cats ain't telling it like it is. Read. Ephesians 5, verse 26. Read. That it might be sanctified. That you might be sanctified through what? In cleansing in with the washing of the water by the word. Read that again. Let the Bible speak. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 26. Read. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the water by the word. The washing of the water. The spiritual water. That's right. Christ. A well of water. By the washing of the water by the word. These laws statutes and commandments. That's what we're supposed to be keeping. Read on, huh? Ephesians chapter 5, verse 6. Read. Let no man deceive you with vain words. Stop right there, so, nice. the, so the scripture said, let no man deceive you with vain words. These pastors deceive you every damn Sunday. That's right. Vain words. That's After filthy liqueur, these damn dogs. That's, that's what right. the scripture say they are. They will, they, it's not of him that will, nor runneth like he told you in, uh, in Romans. Keep going. For because of these things cometh the wrath of God Be right. unto the children of disobedience. Woo! Read that one more time. Chap Ephesians chapter 5 verse 6. Read. Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things cometh the wrath of God. Stop right there. Let no man deceive you with vain words. Because of these things, your pastor's not telling it like it's supposed to be told. Cometh what? Vain. For because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Because of these things cometh the wrath. The wrath. The wrath of the Most High. You guys don't put it in your heads. Y'all just go about and not even worry. It's a yeah, it's an awful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. That's right. Y'all think this is a cakewalk. Like you're just gonna fall over. The most high will destroy you. He will destroy the children of disobedience. Those not keeping the law, thinking that this is a joke. Just like a fellow brother said in New York. Oh, here come these niggas again. These brothers in purple, the superheroes are back. You damn straight the superheroes are back. That's right. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 14 Read That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro Stop right there Stop right there That we no more be children tossed to and fro You guys know what that means Like a ship on the ocean The wind just tosses to and fro That's right You guys in so many damn So called doctrines False religions Read that And carried about with every wind of doctrine And carried about What the scripture say Read every, that here huh? And carried about every wind of doctrine. And carried about with every wind of what? Doctrine. Doctrine. Keep going. By the slay of men. By the slay of men. Read. And cunning craftiness. And cunning craftiness. That's right. Whereby they lie in wait to deceive. Whereby they lie in wait to deceive. Come as you are. That's right. All is welcome here. God loves everybody. That's right. Sisters, y'all can wear what y'all wore Saturday here, Sunday. Be uncovered. Dress like a harlot. Oh, you can have boyfriend and girlfriends in here. I'm a pastor of this church. My, my, daughter, my, my granddaughter got a, got a boyfriend. He played a drum. He ain't, he ain't telling it like the scripture said. Come here, give me, I'm going to need some love. We're lost. It's time we come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments. 
It's time we understand who we really are. We are not black. We are Israelites according to the scripture. That's right. What is black? Brother, can you tell me what black is? What is black? Black is a color. That's right. We are not black. That's right. We come in different shades of brown. That's right. We are not black. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. Read. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Start right there. So that's the second time we've heard that today. Out the scriptures. My people. My people. My people. Read on. Because thou have reject knowledge. Uh, out. I'm sorry. So it says, my people. My. There was a distinction there. Read that. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. Read. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. The law. Read on. And we're going to give, I'm going to give you what knowledge is according to the Bible. Read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. I will also reject thee. Thus saith the Lord. Now you guys sit back and wonder what that knowledge is. The Most High told you his people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. What is that knowledge that the Most High is trying to talk to you about? What is he telling you? Not trying, he's telling you. Malachi chapter 2 verse 7. Read. So the priest Let's shall keep knowledge. Stop right there. Stop right there. The scripture said for the priest, the priest, your pastors, as well as yourself, because in Exodus uh, 19 and 6, we are to be priests, a holy nation, Amen. according to the Most High. Read that again. For the priest lips should keep knowledge. For the priest lips should keep knowledge. Read on. And they should seek the Lord at his Mouth. And they should seek yeah. the law. That's that is right. what knowledge That's is. That's right. The law. You guys should be able to seek the laws at your pastor's mouth in these congregations, these damn churches. That's right. You guys ain't getting the laws from your pastors. He ain't rocking no beard. He in a damn three-piece suit. No fringes. No fringes. I'm going to have you in a second. That's right. That's what I got. He ain't keeping knowledge. Damn heathens. Always got a damn skit and a joke. That's right. Read, read that again, huh? Malachi chapter 2, verse 7. Read. For the priest's lips shall keep knowledge. For the priest's lips shall keep knowledge. Read on. And they should seek the law at his mouth. And they should seek the law at his mouth. That's right. Sister Jenkins. Deuteronomy 22 and 5 says you shall not wear pants. Your pastor ain't telling you that. That's right. Leviticus 19 and 27, Brother Jones, you should be growing your beard according to the scriptures. Your pastor ain't telling you that. That's right. But we gonna tell you that. That's what the Most High told us and sent us out here to do. All of us, each and every one of his people. That's right. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. Read, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So it says, my people, once again, so-called Israelites, the 12 tribes, are destroyed for lack of knowledge. They are destroyed for lack of the law. How is it that we can keep Esau's law? That's right. But we can't keep the laws of the Most High. That's right. Who made us? Who made us? The potter made us, and the clay want to damn rebel. That's right. Don't make no damn sense. That's how lost we are. Read that again. Hey.